What's up guys? Reefing ain't easy. Why? Because you got really hard questions to answer like, should you dose your tank with beneficial bacteria? I'm just going to give my opinion. I'm not stating facts here. This is an opinion. But I have two things to say about it. One, if you can avoid having to put something that costs money into your tank on a regular basis, meaning it's a recurring cost, I would avoid it at all costs. So if you don't need to dose it, I wouldn't dose it. Unless it's like a one-time thing, you're not going to continually need to do it. That's my personal opinion. You might want to use it for a short term with a long-term goal of never needing it in the future, but there's already enough reoccurring costs in this hobby. And if you can save money or allocate that money to stuff that you enjoy, like a new fish or new coral, that's the route that I think you should want to go with. And the other point I wanted to make about beneficial bacteria is I feel like there is a lot of mis information out there, a lot of anecdotal evidence, and I just wouldn't trust, even if I was telling you that it works, I wouldn't trust that completely. Now, I'm going to go over just the few products that I've tried. I haven't tried others, so I don't have opinions on them, and just tell you what my personal opinion and take is on it. And like I said, don't trust me because that's for my personal tank, my personal experience, and yours might be different. And one of the biggest things I see happen in this hobby is people think that it was a cause and effect, but it wasn't. A quick example I'll give you is like ick, right? Ick has a life cycle, your fish gets some white spots, and then three or four days later, those white spots go away. That's just the way it works, the life cycle. Not always because you might have new ones appearing and yada, 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 but that's kind of be, to be expected. But you see the white spots on your fish, you freak out and you do something. And then whatever you do, you say, that, I did A, and A, cures ick, it works, it helps your fish. You're gonna be convinced and say that and then that gets spread out into the reefing community. Whatever A is, I don't even know what it is, you know? Suddenly that is like a cure for ick or obviously doesn't cure ick, but it helps the fish with ick. That's what happens. You might, you know, dose your tank with some bacteria and then something happens and, and you can't really say definitively if that worked. So again, I'm just gonna tell you what I know about bacteria. Now, I know a lot of people might be thinking like, uh, Turbo Start or uh, the one and only by Dr. Tim's, you're thinking about when you first start your tank, introducing that beneficial bacteria that helps get it cycled. That 100% in my opinion works. It's totally worth it if you're impatient and don't wanna wait and help speed up the process. It, it's a great idea, it works, and that's that. The thing with that is that's, that's a one-time cost. You know, you're not gonna continually do that. All right, so now let's talk about the other kinds of bacteria because that's just one and done and now you're off and on to reefing and you're going to hear a bunch of different stuff microbacter 7 uh the three i got here vibrant refresh waste away and there's a bunch more and i can't speak to the ones i haven't used but let me speak about the ones that i have used. vibrant so i'll tell you what i like what i don't like what i don't like is that it says basically it uh brightens and cleans in as little as 12 hours the reason i don't like that is because people are getting this to get rid of algae most commonly and that gives you the impression that this is going to work really, really quickly, and, and it doesn't. In my opinion, again, it's opinion, this does work. It helps with things like bubble algae, and I have a whole video on algae. I'll link the card right here, and basically in that video, I'm explaining how you're trying to meet equilibrium, and this can help you do that. So it does work in that sense, but the point I wanted to make with Vibrant is this thing is going to take months to work. So do your regular dosing once a week, but don't just expect a quick change give it at least six weeks before you're gonna say, oh, this doesn't work. It's a very slow process that does work and you have to dose it once a week. And I would stay within the directions, don't get crazy with it. Like, I didn't see anything, dose more, something like that, but uh, that's my opinion, it works, but it does, it does take a little bit of time and it's a little misleading. If you don't know much about it, you're like, oh, dose it 12 hours later, it didn't work, what's going on here? All right, so Waste Away and Refresh, both by Dr. Tim's. The reason that I like Dr. Tim's products is just his credibility, the fact that he's actually studied bacteria in a lab. Like I was mentioning, a lot of this stuff is anecdotal evidence. You dose it, you know, one of your acros turns a little bit more green suddenly. Hey, this is great. It colored up my acros, something like that, when it could have been something completely different and unrelated. But Dr. Tim uh, went to school and studied this kind of stuff. Obviously, he created a company the company is for profit. There's nothing wrong with that. So there's going to be a little bit of biasness in there. 
and marketing, but I do trust his products. Uh, not necessarily more. I just like the fact that there's something behind it and some credibility. These other companies, though, obviously they're putting money into research and development. So that's not to say something like Microbacter 7 doesn't work or isn't good. It might even be a better product, but just for me in my head, that's why I like that. But again, let's get back to the point. Uh, waste away. Here's what happens with waste away. I'm going to show you. I'm going to dose my tank with waste away, and then we're going to see what happens to my protein skimmer. All right, I dosed the waste away about one hour ago, and I only dosed one third. It says 10 milliliters per 10 gallons of tank water, and I only did one third. You can see the bubbles, the foam, is not even reaching the top of the cup. You can see it's actually starting to get more than when I just looked a second ago. They're stopping right there. You can see there was foam from just an hour ago where the foam was reaching the very top of the cup. It could be making my tank dirtier, I don't know, I'm not saying it means anything. If you happen to know why, please let me know in the comments. But I do know by watching my tank when I dose waste away, this seems to happen every time and it's very common. It's a cause and effect, I don't know what's going on. So I mean it definitely makes an effect on the tank and the idea with it is, it's supposed to help clear up sludge and just like the dirtiness of your tank and that's cool. I do think it works. There's supposed to be larger bacteria with big mouths that can eat bigger things, even bacteria. So, um, yeah, I think it works, but I wouldn't use it all the time. Uh, it says you can use it weekly, but I would, I don't know, if you got some extra cash to spend, want to see if it works, put it in your tank and uh, once a year, once every six months, once a quarter, even once a month, even once a week, it's, it's fine. I do think that it helps clean up a little bit of your tank. Uh, the refresh is pretty much, I don't know too much about it other than I use this as a cyanobacteria preventative measure. So I have no idea if this actually works. Again, it's my opinion, take away the grain of salt. But I am making an assumption going out on a limb that, hey, if I dose this maybe once a month, that it will help keep cyanobacteria at bay because supposedly the bacteria in here will eat the cyanobacteria. There actually is a regimen for these two where you dose this guy, you know, I think it's like uh, twice, give it a day in between, turn off your protein skimmer, it's gonna go out there, it's gonna gobble up a bunch of cyanobacteria. Then you dose this guy because this guy eats the bacteria that are eating the cyanobacteria from this guy and then it all exports through your protein skimmer, that kind of deal. So that's my whole reasoning for dose this every once in a while just to try to prevent the cyanobacteria. I have a whole video I'll link right here on cyanobacteria that goes over, you know, different things you can do to try to prevent it and get rid of it. I don't even know if I mentioned that in there, can't remember. So the point of this video is if you don't need it, don't do it. Nobody really knows, so I wouldn't even trust me what I'm telling you. So take everything with a grain of salt. In this hobby, there's so much anecdotal evidence, and, and it's it's good people with good intentions. It just happens, you know, like my ick thing. It's like, oh, I got this uh, green powder from my friend, and I put it in there, and the white spots on my fish went away. It works when, if you didn't put the green powder in at all, the white spots still would have gone away. So, as you can see, reefing ain't easy. But thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you next time.